I'm really glad to the new viewers. This is the channel where you get what you need to know. Living agriculture, our broad objective is to share what we do and what you need to do regarding to empowering the community for source of income. I thank you for viewing, liking, and subscribing. Honestly speaking, on behalf of the Living Agriculture family, let me send our sincere pleasure to our sister, Madame Nadia Kamara, for donating a camera. And whoever can communicate to her, thank her for what he has done. Because the camera, as I told you before, it is 1,500 US dollars. It is not easy. And above all, is not a Ugandan. So we need to thank her and may the Almighty God bless all whatever she's doing because she's touched to see that whatever we are doing, we need to share with the community. And whatever you need to get to know and learn, it is only on living agriculture where we share what we are doing and what we need you to do. Sister Nadia, God bless you. And should I kindly open all the doors for your earning. We are going to look at the types of breeds here. And each breed, its lifespan and production. I don't want you to call Kadama. Uh -uh. You are the support staff for where you went to work. I always pray that wherever you are and you are viewing living agriculture, may the Almighty God protect you from all the bad deeds and activities. We have seven types of breeds of chicken. The first one is the local. Its lifespan is 5 years to 15 years. And its production in every year, it produces 9 times. This local chicken in every year, it lays for 9 months. It sounds new to you who is viewing. But for us here, we have to tell you the detailed ones and how it can be done. The layers, these are the commercial layers. Its lifespan is two years. But its production, it is just one year and a half. But you are being deceived that the production time, it is two years. And of the two years, minus five months before it starts laying. That we need to understand that. Now, when we go to the broilers, its lifespan, if not parent, it does not exceed five months. Tell you, broilers, it is not there. Now, the broilers, it is just a crossing of these two. Its lifespan is seven years. And the seven years, its production is six and a half years when laying eggs. Daily, it lays for six and a half years. Now, when we go to rainbow, its lifespan in production, it is five years. When we go to Sasso, its lifespan is five years in production. 
Then this is Sussex. This is the second local. Its lifespan, it is seven years in production. Now, let's go into the calculations. Kobaba Mumobo Zanyo. You ask, how do they produce? How do I get? Now, how can I compare? If I'm to go for chicken, which one should I go to? Okay. Here we are. When we talk of the comparisons, we compare one to one. These are layers and these are 1,000 local. The lifespan of 1,000 layers, it is two years. The lifespan of 1,000 local, it is 15 years. Simanyo batu chitegera. The lying span here, it is one year and a half. And the lying span of local, it is 14 years and a half. In production, now assuming we have 1,000 birds, honestly, from 1,000 chicks of layers, only 750. Those are the laying which lays. From 1,750 are the one laying. Meaning that 1,000 birds, we get only <laughs> 30 trees. No, 25 trees of eggs. It is very simple. We simply divide it by 30 eggs. Now 1,000 layers, we are getting 200, I mean 25 trees. And 25 trees, these are 750 eggs. Laid by 7,050 layers from 1,000 chicks. Now, if we were to feed 1,000 birds of layers, each one is supposed to get 100 gram, 150 grams, meaning we need to feed them 150 kilograms per day. I remember having told you that once we start the calculation, get a paper and a pen, like Madame, Mr. Antege and Sonia Walusimbi, brother, sister, in Israel, and Nadia, they always write it down, and Mr. Charles and Martin from UK, they always write it down, and see me from Somalia. Because these calculations, is which you are going to get the exact input in these chicks per day, per week, per month. Now, if we talk of 1,000 birds, each one being given 150 grams, from the 1,000 layers, we feed them 150 kilograms. Now, the 150 kilograms, 150 kilograms times 1,800 shillings per kilo. Because what we need to do is to calculate exactly what, how much is put in these eggs per day. Now, the total expense is 270. What we are trying to say, 1,000 layers each day, we spend 270,000 in feeding, no water, just feeds. And from this amount we put in for the feeds, we end up getting 25 trays. And 25 trays times 10,000 per tray. This is 200 
and 50,000. Now the question here comes, if you are spending 270,000 in, in the feeds, and the production, if it is at sales, you get 250,000. That means every day you lose 20,000. That's why you keep on complaining. The reason is being, one, the breed itself. What breed do you have? Two, the types of feeds. How are you feeding them? Three, the structure of the house. Where these chicks are. Four, the entire management of your farm. My viewers, let me caution you. We have the tendency of we being the boss, making these children or boys or ladies at our farm to be servants. You mistreat them. That's why at times when you go to this farm and stay there, the production increases. And if you are not there, it decreases. Why? You oppress them, you suppress them, you are very rude. It does not make sense. Somebody who is managing your chicken or your farm, if it's two to three eggs and you cut off his salary, because if you are not there, is the one to understand that this project is for both of us, you the boss and himself. Because if it is gone, there will be no work. And if he is not there, honestly, you will not also get money. So let not, we should stop mistreating our people who are working in these farms of ours. Now, if you spend this amount, remember I told you, from the 1,000 birds, only 750 are the ones laying. Now the 250, they don't lay. We are going to see this, how it comes. Because we are here to learn and we are here to share. Now this is our farm. We have the batches. This is batch A, the first one you started with. This is batch B and this is batch C. Now these people, unlike a universe, I mean living agriculture, the first one, if it starts laying up to three months, they bring the second. Now, if also the second starts laying, they bring the third. Now, this one, if they are at the period of being disposed of one year and a half, what they do? The lady eggs are also hatched. This one is between six months to one year and three months. This one are four months to five months. Once you go to buy this 100 birds, they will give you 30 from the old one. They give you 40 from the right one. They give you 60 from the mature one. It is done in every type of breed, wherever you buy them. A water warfare. Because we wouldn't have come here to say to train you and share with you what you need to get. Now, this is at here. If they are the layers, these are the stunted one. They don't grow. You simply look at them. You brought them at the same day, the same feeds, management and everything, but they remain stunted because the parent was old. Now, the fault here, these are the ones which grow at the pace you expect them to grow. Because they are at the range of six months to one and three months. That you need to understand. Now, once you buy 1,000 birds, 
30 from the old one, 40 from the right one, and 60 from the premature one. Honestly, these ones are going to die from day one till they are finished up. Olita kulimba mbubogule nko kochikumi, I add you 30. Honestly speaking, unless when it is another business. But if one day old chick, where you buy them, it is at 3,500. And add CU 30, how much is that? We need to think. But they do this because they don't give you all from the right stage. And they die instantly from day one till they are finished up. Two, if at all you buy 1,000, I mean 100 layers, those ones to be stunted, they will not lay. If they are to lay, they lay at a later stage. I have started picking one, 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 one. For those which we are laying six city, <laughs> you start picking it too from 100. Can't you ask yourself why is it that these days I'm picking 10 instead of picking two trees? It is due to this. That's why we are here for you to know exactly. One time, one day I told you that whatever we are doing, we are doing voluntarily. Because what we need to do, there are some people who are religious, the religious leaders, all the preachers, they work on behalf of the Almighty. But for us here, we are sharing on the economical basis, such that once you get money, you will not start lamenting and regretting why God created you. So, here is what you have to understand. That is where layers comes. Now from one day old, we are still talking of layers. One day old, up to five months, it consumes one bud, it consumes 22 kilograms from one day till it starts laying. You feed it 22 kilograms. And if you were to feed it 22 kilograms, and each kilogram is at 1,000, 1,800, mathematically, <laughs> we need to ask yourself, are we getting money or we are in something else? So what you spend is 39,600. That is the expense you spend on a one day old chick layer till it starts laying. And when you buy 100 birds, the 30 remains stunted. Then the, the 30 dies. You end up remaining with the 70. The question here comes, you are feeding it as feeding 100. And those ones which are laying are only 670. And the 70, these are two trays. <coughs> now, the two trays, because we need it to be calculative, the two trays, two times 10,000. This makes it 20,000, the daily expenditure. Oh, I mean the daily income. And these ones, 1,800 times uh, 15 kilograms, that means the amount, the total cost is 27,000. 27,000. Say, every income is 10, every time, every kasamvu. And when you sell off these trays of eggs, you sell at 20,000. But some people, 
they have no record keeping. You simply get money from somewhere and inject in the chicken without writing down. Hey. Now, you see, at times, what I know, Mr. Antege, you can, <laughs> you can clarify this, oh, Madam Sonia, oh, Madam Nadia himself, if we are to be feeding 15 kilograms for the 100 birds, the amount, the total cost is 27,000. Sevili nko mitano bitano, evili kasamvu. And when you get this 27,000 to feed the 100, and you get two trays of eggs, here and you sell them at 20, and even at times you sell them at 9,000. This will mean you are working in the deepest. Chino njagala nchivagambe. I always appreciate our sisters and our brothers who came from Uganda and went abroad. You are the support staff of wherever you went to work. You have to be thankful and grateful. That's why we always pray for you, such that God blesses you and protects you in every evil deed. And you like us. And you always take time to contribute what, what we are presenting. Except that I always quarrel with Mr. Brian, my producer and manager. We have some viewers who always comment unnecessary comments as being arrogant. If you want to comment, reserve your comment. See. Echo nze nchi bagambia. Mutebita ya gara chio gira konti uro kuba nyombi. At times, aa, mwenyeza. Now, let's calculate. From one day old to five months, the feed is taken. They are 22 kilograms. On the feeds. Now the 22 kilograms, it is equals to 39,600. You are putting in before laying. Then let's go to the medicine. It is a two way. If we are to be going into chemical one day old, the vaccination, we calculate on 100 birds, the vaccination for one day old, it is 20,000 one day. Then the seven days, it is 10,000. The 14 days, 15,000. The 21 days, 10,000. The one month, it is 15. All these are vaccinations. That's why I always tell you that we are not fighting against the chemical medicine. But what you need to know and understand, all the chemical medicines are made from plants. Terivamu guru. Now, if you calculate this, this is 30, this is 40, 50, 70, plus, this is plus 70,000. Just on vaccines, before laying. Now, let's go to the medicine itself. If it happens that they have the white diarrhea, that's typhoid. The second for typhoid, we may use oxy, Observator. This one costs 15,000. If not observator, we go into tetracycline. A circuit, it is at 25,000. If not, we go into supermid. 
TS it costs 30 thousand now you choose either of these depending on the symptom and the severeness of the disease lino liba demo kugema assuming they are sick if you don't use oxyveto you use it to recycle in 25% or supermid ts and this one is done for only one week and if they are sick for 3 weeks you multiply by 3 tezinabika then you total up this and add it to this one we are on layers the commercial so you finally end up that before it lays you must have spent over 150000 munkoko because you know, we need to know it you spend this amount before laying that's why we said that you know as living agriculture we should share this to the community and whoever is viewing because our role and broad objective is to see that anyone who is going into an enterprise, honestly speaking, should go knowingly that there is something what we are earning. 